What is happening everybody? In this video, we are gonna be rocking the Lucy Super Rock Ray on 8S. Usually I rip this thing in 6S, but today I'm gonna be ripping it and launching it on 8S. I haven't ran this truck since around February or March. It's been a while. But first, I would like to walk around and show you guys a few new things. It's been a work in progress and it's coming along nicely. So walking down here into the freestyle area, I've been clearing this spot out. The last video you've seen, I had the ramps up there in the backyard, but this is my designated freestyle area. Got the big booter over there in the background, coming out of the woods right here. Get as fast as you want, launch up there, landing in the backyard, hit that big ramp going out of there, and this freestyle area is working out nicely. I've been working a lot clearing this area out right here. I have more clearing I'm doing right now. Just dropped a few trees right there, as you can see. Dropping a lot of brush, cleaning the trees up. And that's going to be a lot more freestyle arena right there, guys. It's going to look amazing through here. You guys seen the video where we did the ice jump, 102 feet. Uh, this is the ramp that we did it with. Finally got it back here on the property. And it works really nice coming out of the woods right here. Also, I made some changes to the racetrack. Excited about that, too. So I want to share that with you. Made the racetrack a little longer. I've been clearing a lot of woods, guys. A lot of property. Right here, as you can see, I have added onto the racetrack. It is looking massive now. Absolutely moosive. Right there, you go over the jump, go around this turn, down that back straight away, over this jump right here, down through here. Here we go, right around through here. Woo, back across, through the chicane, through there, the back around. And then what you do when you come around that corner, you cut that in tight, and then you go and you hit that jump right there, and then you go around, so you alternate. Every time you go around here, then you go around there. So, yes. I'm gonna make a custom crawler trail up here. I've been wanting to do that. Even though we have a lot of natural terrain, I wanna make a designated crawler trail. Just, you know, why not? Let's go get that Super Rock Ray ripping. Might take me a minute to get used to this thing again. It's an animal. A complete, absolute animal. Ow! Oh my goodness. Oh no! Oh! Oh, that went smoother than I thought. Oh my goodness. Oh! Oh, I mean, one success. Ooh. The problem is this thing likes to nose in a little bit. Bad. This thing is so peppy, guys. why that thing shut off that thing shut off off the big booter and landed flat look at this crater this crater right here the entire roof just dug into the ground i'm glad it landed on sand that's why i got the big booter set up to the sand pile right here i'm not sure why it shut off i do run some adapters like connector adapters that may have something to do with it i'm not sure but it did shut off and if i can't get it running i'm gonna go bust out another rc car okay guys got it back here in the workbench got it back working again Perfect. So what happened, I guess one of my batteries went bad. It's now on 6S. I uh, was running it on 8S, but you know what? We're going to have just as much fun on 6S. This thing is a blast. Actually, I kind of prefer it on 6S. It's a lot more controllable. That helps when you're trying to film everything too. <laughs> Oh, goodness, that was 
Oh, I diddled it. Oh, no. Oh, let's just put it there and act like it never happened and just keep going, right? Yeah. Butter. Oh, my goodness. I got witnesses. So smooth. Yes, it does take some getting used to with all the trees in your vision running around this area. It took me a while, but kind of got adapted to all the trees in my vision, so it does make you a better driver, I believe. Oh, tree. <laughs> Cut.